is just unbelievable. I cannot believe we got this whole place by ourselves. find ourselves in another fun location it's more sand dunes out here in Nevada it's called Tonopah recreation area or something like that I'll throw it up the name of it but it's an area where people come out with the four wheelers and all that and go cruising around on the dunes but luckily we got here yesterday on a Monday today's Tuesday and there's not a soul for miles so we got this whole undisturbed sand dunes all to ourselves to do some landscape photography <clears throat> but last night I did climb up the one sand dune some the big one right beside the truck check the area out walked a walked a little bit out did to grab one photo just just something to do but this morning I was like well I brought my brought my sand wedge I love the golf so I was like well perfect I'll do some sand trap practice so I grabbed that hit some golf balls around went up top hit some from the top down and then a little later we went ahead and decided I'd climb up that big big sand dune see if there's something to photograph from up there so when I get done later I don't gotta go all the way back up if I don't have to but there's some photographs to be had so I guess I'm going back up there so the direction we're going it's a bunch of the smaller sand dunes and all and to do the whole track all around if I do a big loop all the way back to the truck it's about four miles so it's just after one decided I come out a little early that way I have plenty of time to wander around check the area out and see what we can come up with so, that being said, we're going to carry on. believe this we got we got this type of location all by ourselves not a single soul around <clears throat> but I usually don't shoot middle of the day like this I usually wander around and see something I can get later in the evening but I come across this this big big sand dune and I was looking at it the top of the sand dune the edge of it's just a nice sharp line dividing that from the sky and the skies are really deep blue so I think it's a nice almost like an abstract shot also up in the sky we got some we got some thin clouds or whatever for a little bit of detail but I got it framed up to shoot all you can fill the frame with the sand dune and then you just got this sharp line and then the, this really blue sky I got my polarizer on just to bring out the blue a little bit more shooting that it'll be shot at I'm shooting at f11 yeah whatever it doesn't really matter on this one but ISO 100 at 100th of a second so let's grab this shot I might take a couple extra shots and then we'll head out this can be a really nice first shot of the day so this is already looking out looking to be a nice day. Thank you. 
like I said before, this place is just unbelievable. I cannot believe we got this whole place by ourselves. I mean, all around us. I mean, the White Sands National Park was unbelievable too, but this place is just surrounded by all these all these mountains. I mean, all around we got mountains like that. <clears throat> and before I walk up this, we got all these patterns and like I was saying before, even with that sun way up in the sky, I mean, it's harsh as it is, but these real blue skies and real high clouds, and then we got, we still got this texture in the sand, and it just, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. So, before I walk up through this and disturb all this, I want to take a shot of just this pattern of the sand. Um, and I'd be so irritated if somebody showed up with a four-wheeler and just started tearing through. Because all this is 100% untouched except for what. So I try to keep Harvey as close as I can because he likes to run ahead and just put footprints everywhere. So let me grab this shot and we're going to we're gonna head up. keep saying this but wow I don't think I'm gonna make it the whole whole loop around I was looking at there's too much too much to photograph around here um, this right here and then when I was down there we're taking those taking that one shot of the lines through the sands looking that way nice shot right right in between these two dunes here following it in and you got the bigger dune in the distance with a bunch of small ones and you got the big rocky snow-capped mountains in the background that's a shot I want to grab um, but later this evening so I can't go too far so even though tomorrow there probably won't be any clouds even with the blue sky I mean I can get the mountains and stuff tonight with the clouds and tomorrow come out and wander around more. I don't keep wandering around, but I mean, good God, I love it. bigger dunes and winds picking up a little bit nothing like it was last night last time when we arrived here my truck is parked right down there and this big dune right here I'm parked right next to we climbed up that last night well not all the way because that wind was strong I didn't take my I took my camera handheld but it would have tripod would have just been blown over it was like that wind was blowing so hard. Poor old Harvey. That sand was like a sand blaster. He kept trying to get up behind me, trying to get out of the sand. So we had to turn around and go down. Plus it was it was about 35 degrees with like a 25 mile an hour wind. It was cold. Got down to about 21 last night. But anyway, up top here, I'm not gonna really shoot 
any of this because the spots I saw I came on came across down at the bottom that's what I want to shoot and I want to be able to get be down there when that sun gets lower I don't want to be trying to rush down there um, plus up here I mean it's nice but there's a bunch of a lot of open empty areas in between the dunes and down there um, it kind of runs together and just kind of weaves into it but right out here we got a small dune that has a it's almost like an S, almost like a snake. And so I put my 7300 on, zoomed all the way in, and just get that pattern. It starts on the bottom corner of the frame and kind of weaves in and through the frame, nice and drawing your eye right into it. And it's just amazing with this sun all the way up like this, the uh, the shadows and lights and all that, they, they actually work out really nicely. So... I'm going to get this shot. We're going to hang up here for a while. Harvey's got water. He is wore out. Where is he? There he is. He is, the sand is wearing him out. So, grab the shot, relax, and make our way back down there in a few and get set up for the main shot. <music> down to where I was where I've been wanting to shoot the one composition there was just so many there is a lot of composition to shoot around here so like I said I'll probably come out tomorrow and wander further out into those other dunes I just didn't have time to wander all around because I knew I wanted to be back here um, and it's just looking nice what I'm working with here is we got got it framed up you got this hill dune to our left you got a dune on our right coming down, so it kind of nice little valley to shoot through. Then the side of this dune kind of goes down at an angle, and it's hard to see on the camera, but there's from the lip, there's a small, small shelf that makes a shadow that weaves throughout the frame and just runs into that big dune right in the middle. And the peak of that dune in the middle is right between the two mountains. So, and then also we've got some of the dunes to the left and right. So that's what I'm going for. We got the dunes on the left and right. Adding, it's going to add depth into our photo. I'll probably shoot F16 just to make sure I can get everything in focus throughout. So, this one I've been waiting for. Like I said, there's. I'll be out tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe the clouds will come out tomorrow. Who knows? Um, I probably won't make a video on it, but I might just throw the photos up at the end of this. At the end of this video, photos I take tomorrow. So, as usual, just waiting for that sun. I'm gonna take some test shots and all that, but wait for that sun to come down, and then we'll get our actual shot.
All right, still waiting for that sun some, but I've been playing around while I've been waiting. I went up here, switched out my lenses, and I took some uh, photos of the more detail in the sand, the ripples with that sun going down at a stronger angle. Those ripples are really defined. So I've just been walking around doing that. But I also changed my composition some, focus more on this leading into the mountains because uh, I really wanted a wider shot but with that sun directly behind me you can see my shadow just keeps getting longer and longer so <laughs> I'm in my own way but wait for it to go down some more and I'm probably going to also put my longer lens on do some tighter shots maybe panorama I've seen some shots that might work also up here I wanted to because right up top there is it's real flat and the wind has created all these ripples also and we've been I really wanted to shoot low up there shoot that way real low get all those ripples in the foreground but again same issue my giant shadows in the way so we're gonna keep waiting and keep shooting that about does it for today the sun's pretty much gone down below the mountains or just about to all the lights off of the dunes some light on the mountains so it's starting to get cold harvey's harvey's already starting to shake so but still cannot believe we're nobody else is here whole place myself so it's only tuesdays tomorrow's wednesday so i don't expect people to be out here tomorrow hopefully because tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to hit all those other dunes I didn't get a chance to get to today. Even though there won't be any clouds earlier, I could see. I mean, I took those photos where with the blue skies, no clouds, middle of the day. I think they turned out really nice. And so, got the camera and all that packed up. We're going to get ready, head back to the truck. We're going to be here for the next two or three days, more than likely. And if they're not calling for any clouds for the next few days at night, it's going to be cold. So it's supposed to be in the 20s for the rest of the week. But this would be perfect area to do some astrophotography. So I may get out and do some of that here in the next few nights. But with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I really did. And if you ever get it, I'll put the name of this place up here. So if you're ever out in this area in Nevada definitely stop and check this out so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one